Mod Organizer 2.1.2 is about to be released soon, so I thought it might be like time to make an updated bash patch procedure, which is pretty simple. As you can see here, I have all the mods from the Tuco guide installed, that makes it roughly 176 mods. This procedure applies to a situation where you don't have a bash patch yet and you are building it for the first time. In the next video, I will show you the even simpler procedure of rebuilding a bash patch once you add additional mods. So let's get it started. If you are using Vrybash to create a bashed patch for the first time, you will not have a bashed patch mod yet, but we will create one in the process. First of all, let's sort the load order. We will use loot. I open loot and click on the sort plugins button. The plugins get sorted. Sorting made no changes to the load order. In my case, I can close loot. And then enable all plugins, deselect the plugins that cannot be processed by Vrybash. In my case it's Dindulot ESM and Dindulot ESP and also deactivate any plugins that you will not use at all. In my case Pigeon Wives, War Maidens and NPCs because I want to use the all-in-one plugin. Once this is done we can run Vrybash. Now there is no bashed patch. So I need to move it above Dindulot, activate it and then right click and rebuild patch. This happens that you have to activate it when you don't have a bashed patch or bashed patch mod yet. I right click it, it, rebuild patch, then I accept the following plugins need to be deactivated for the rebuild and finally I confirm with build patch. After the process is finished a summary is shown. This will also be saved in the best patch documents. I confirm with OK and I can close Vrybash. Now because I didn't have a best patch mod yet, there is a warning that there are files in the overwrite. When I double click on the overwrite mod I can see the files generated by Vrybash. So I can close it, right click on overwrite, create mod and name it accordingly to my profile. You can name it best patch mod if you don't want to use profiles at all. In my case this name will be appropriate for this profile. Click OK and the best patch mod is created. Now I can activate it and move it at the end of my mod list. Finally we need to reactivate the previously deactivated Dindulot plugins and that's it. That's the entire procedure of creating a bashed patch if you didn't have one already and if you don't have a bashed patch mod already. This is how it goes uh, for the first bashed patch creation. In the next video I will show you the rebuilding of a already present bashed patch which is even quicker than that. Thanks for watching, see you in the next videos.